hi what's to come on and share the word and pray uh, first of all i hope you're well so quick into the name of the lord jesus christ i wanted to come on and share today um uh, out of mark 14 if you want to share with me um communion as well get your bread and your juice ready um it's mark 14 and it's from verse 12 if you'll join in with me and um i'll start to read it says on the first day of the festival of unleavened bread when as customary they sacrificed the passover lamb his disciples asked him where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat this the passover and he sent two of his disciples and he sent two of his disciples saying to them go into the city and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you follow him and say to the owner of the house he enters the teacher asks where is my guest room in which i may eat the passover with my disciples he will show you a large upstairs room furnished and ready carpets and dining couches prepare the supper that was there the disciples left and went to the city and found everything just as, his, as just as he had told them and they prepared the passover hallelujah and when it was evening he came with the twelve disciples while they were reclining at the table and jesus said i assure you so okay from verse 18 let's say that again while they were reclining at the table jesus said i assure you and i solemnly say to you one of you will betray me the one who is eating with me they began to be grieved and deeply distressed and say to him one by one surely not i and he replied it is one of the twelve disciples the one who is dipping bread in the bowl with me for the son of man goes to the cross just as it is written in scripture of him but woe to the man by whom the son of man is betrayed it would have been good for that man if he had not been born while they were eating jesus took bread so jesus took bread and blessed it giving thanks and praise and he broke it and gave it to them and said take it this is my body so this is the lord's supper praise the lord maybe someone that hasn't done this before so this is the lord's supper okay so he says take it this is my body take communion i like to repent and ask the lord for forgiveness for anything that i've done and then i take communion and examine my heart first might be someone that hasn't taken communion before and then we come before the lord this way with the right heart of repentance and then we take communion praise the lord let's do this just for someone that hasn't who might not have taken communion before amen let's take time to pray no time just Take your communion and your juice. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. And when he had taken a cup of wine and given thanks, he gave it to them. And they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood. This is my blood of the new covenant. And my blood which is being poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I assure you and I solemnly say to you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. After they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Amen. So if you just take your juice now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Jesus said to them, 
You will all fall away and be ashamed and be afraid to be associated with me as disciples. Because it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. We praise you, Lord, and we love you. Thank you, Jesus. We praise and glorify you. Just lift up his name and praise God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. But after I have been raised from the dead, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. But Peter said to him, Even if they all fall away and desert you, ashamed, and afraid of being associated with you, yet I will not do so. Jesus said to him, I assure you, and most solemnly say to you this very night, before a rooster crows twice, you will deny me. You will deny that you even know me three times. But Peter kept saying insistently, if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they were all, and they all were saying the same thing as well. Amen to the word of God. And we praise you. We love you, Lord. Just lift up the name of the Lord. We praise you, Lord God. We praise you, Jesus. And we love you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you atoned for our sin, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you atoned for our sin, Lord, that you, Lord, took away the sins of the world, that when we repent, Lord, and come to you, we are forgiven, Lord. And you say, do this in remembrance of me, to remember the a holy sacrament of a uh, holy communion, Lord, to remember the sacrifice you made. Thank you, Lord. And today, Lord God, is Yom Kippur, Lord God, what you would have celebrated, celebrating this very thing and this very sacrament, this very uh, time of uh, this precious uh, the message of the cross, the atonement you made, Lord God, for our sin. It's giving thanks to you for what you did, Lord, and now as we do communion, we give thanks, Lord God, for what you've done, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and we come before you, Lord, in repentance. And that's what Yom Kippur is about too, Lord, is repentance. And to thank you, Lord, and to praise you. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the finished work of the cross. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace, Lord God. If it wasn't for you, Lord, we would have no hope. You are hope, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the finished work of the cross. And we thank you, Lord, for the ones that are watching that don't know you, that stayed long enough to watch this. I pray, Lord God, you would convict their hearts and touch their hearts, split their hearts, Lord, to you. That they will be convicted to repent. That they will turn, turn their hearts, Lord. Turn their hearts to you, convict their hearts, Lord, and thank you for doing that already. You've already done it. It's already done, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you've already done that. And they've taken part and they have come before you, Lord, and repented. Thank you, Lord, the ones that you've convicted, Lord, who have responded to you, have said, yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you and love you, Lord, and we thank you. And I thank you for their hearts. Thank you, Lord, for touching their hearts. And I thank you for them. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord God. As they have turned to you and turned away from the world, help them in everything they need. Help me, Lord. Be our strength in our stay. Lord, we love you and praise you in Jesus' name. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord.
Jesus, praise God, praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, praise the Lord, your name is written in the book of life, if you've just given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, been known by him, and all your sins washed away, yes, all your sins washed away, the Lord says when you repent and you give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, just remember not even the one that you've been sitting as well. <sighs> Excuse me. Not even the one that you think is the worst one. God forgives you. And even that thing that you think is impossible to forgive, He forgives and forgives. Keep pressing into the Lord. Keep praising the Lord. Because you are new. You are born again. And celebrate the Lord. Because God is good. And he died that we would live. We live for him now. We live for Jesus now. We live for the word. We live for him. He is the word. None of us are perfect. We all go wrong sometimes. But the Lord is there and His grace abounds. <sighs> his grace abounds. His mercy abounds. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. So the Lord. Has washed everything away. And He says He's forgotten. He's forgotten all our sin. Now live for Jesus. Now live for the Lord. Live a life worthy of repentance. And seek the will of God for your life. His purpose for your life. Because it is a great one. You are born with a purpose. And it shall be birthed in Jesus' name. And then you'll come to the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Lord, thank you. Oh God, for everything. Thank you, Lord. Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. For everything. Praise you, oh God, for mercy. Thank you, Lord. And I pray we protect the ones that have just given their hearts to you, and even the ones that, those who are in Christ, the bride. Thank you for keeping us, Lord God. Thank you for delivering us from all evil, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. And your forgiveness, Lord God. Your forgiveness, Lord. Thank you for your mercy and your grace, Lord. Thank you for forgiving us all our sins, Lord God. That we can live a victorious life in you. You're so merciful, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that your grace abounds, Lord God. you give immeasurably, Lord God. Immeasurable, you give immeasurably. So live for you, Lord. By your Holy Spirit, Lord God, you pour upon us and you give us your Holy Spirit immeasurably. Lord God, thank you. You and you alone. Lord God, our God. 
forgive us, Lord God, for making gods of other things in our lives. Making gods of people. Thinking what people think. Rather than you. And even self getting in the way of things in the world. Forgive us when we stray away in our hearts and adopt the things of the world that sneak into pollute. Lord God, help us to know and to recognize these things that we will be aware in our God. Thank you, Lord. Just to guard our hearts diligently, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for showing us these things and that you're merciful to show us these things, Lord, that we can repent. And that we can get right with you and move on, Lord, and live that victorious life in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen.